students of class 8 and class 10. Today we are going to begin the fourth chapter of class 8 metals and non-metals and it is the third chapter in the chemistry of class 10. So before we begin this chapter I would like to just review some of your uh, inter uh, general knowledge. We know that we have more than 118 elements approximately and out of that 17 are non-metals and 6 of them are metalloids. Metalloids meaning is elements that possess both the characters of metals as well as non-metals and the rest are metals. Now, how will we define a metal? And how will we define a non-metal? So when we want to define metal and when we want to define non-metal, we have to go and study the properties of metal. So before we study the properties of metal, we are going to study some more things that is minerals and ores. What are minerals and what are ores? So now we are going to study about what are minerals. So here you see what are minerals. Substances that occur naturally on the earth crust are called minerals. Maybe rocks containing some elements in small amount, that is mineral. So here substances that occur naturally on the earth crust are called minerals. Next topic is what are ores. So substances that contains in large amount of an element that can be extracted. Extracted meaning is can be taken out. Profitably are called ores. Extracted profitably are called ores. That means element must contain in large amount and if you can take out in large amount then that is called as ores. So different kind of ores are there in your book. It is given in the table of your book. You see aluminum. The ores of aluminum is bauxite. And the formula is given in your book. The ores of copper is given in your book as chalcopyrite and chalcolite, iron, hematite, magnetite. The formula is given in your book. Lead as galena, magnesium as magnesite, and dolomite, mercury as cinnabar, zinc, smith, smith sonite, and the ores of zinc is smith sonite. Zinc blender, the formula is given in your, in your book as ZNS and ZNCO3. Properties of metal, physical properties of metal. So before studying the physical properties of metal, I'd like to show you some metals which I have brought you for your knowledge. This is zinc, this is iron nails, iron nails, this is aluminum seed. And some more I have brought it here. This is iron bar. So all these are metals. Now, these all these metals have some physical properties. The first physical properties is that as you see here, all these metals are solid at room temperature. Except for mercury, only one metal except for mercury. This is liquid at room temperature. Hardness. All the metals are very hard. You cannot break it with your hand. You cannot do it anything with your hand. It requires a large amount of force to break it. So metals are very hard. Now tensile strength. We come to the tensile strength. It requires a large amount of force to break. That is called tensile strength. For example, this iron bar, you cannot break it so easily. It will require a large amount of force to break. So that property is called as tensile strength. Now the, set, the third thing is, uh, the fourth thing is luster. All the metals, all the metals are lustrous. That means shiny in color. I cannot show you gold because I don't have any gold here. But I have one metal here. It is zinc which is very shiny in color. So shiny means Luster. Luster meaning is shiny. So all the metals are lustrous. The fifth point is malleability. Malleability means can be converted into thin sheets when beaten or hammered. 
So this is aluminium. Aluminium, many a times you have seen it. So this aluminium is converted into thin sheet by hammering. So that property of metal is called malleability. And property of a metal that can be pulled into wires is called as ductility. So this is a metal which is drawn into wire here. So this property is called as ductility. Sonority is when it produces a ringing sound. I'll show you an example here. Our school bell, when you ring it, it produces a ringing sound. So this ringing sound is called sonority. When we study the properties of metal, it is very easy to remember the physical properties of non-metal as because it is exactly opposite of metals. The properties of non-metals are exactly opposite of non-metals. So the physical state of non-metals are, it may be solid, liquid or gas. Bromine is a non-metal which is liquid found at room temperature. Oxygen, nitrogen, etc. are gas. Carbon, sulfur, iodine, phosphorus, C for carbon, S for sulfur, I for iodine, P for phosphorus are solid at room temperature. Now there is no question of hardness because all of them are found in the three states of matter, matter and the solids which are found carbon, sulfur, iodine, phosphorus even though they are solid they are very brittle means easily breakable so there does not uh, question does not arise of tensile strength as they are brittle they are non lustrous except for graphite except except for Graphite. Graphite is a non-metal which is lustrous. Malleability question does not arise because they are brittle, so it cannot be converted into thin sheet. Question of ductility does not arise because they cannot be converted into thin wires. Sonority as because they are brittle, they cannot produce any ringing sound. So it is very easy to remember the properties of metal and non-metal if we remember the properties of Method. Stay home, stay safe, do it for ourselves, do it for our family, do it for India. Let's break the chain of COVID-19. Hum hum ye kamyab, jai hin.